All right, guys. Well, right now we're stuck on the side of the road. I have my sister Erica here. Yeah. So I checked the oil and I checked the coolant. It's got oil and it's got coolant. And when we started it up, it sounded like a really bad rattling sound. Maybe something in the engine broke, or maybe the engine grenaded itself. We don't know. So right now we're waiting for my dad to show up because we're gonna have to go get the trailer and we're gonna have to come back and pick this thing up. Christy's here. This is her car. <laughs> she blew up her Bronco. Her Bronco. Apparently there was two engine recalls on it and the Ford dealership doesn't have the parts for it. So she's just going for going to see some friends, I guess. And she said it started, what started happening? It made like the, the little thermometer went red, like all the way red and then the engine light went on. Alright, so we're all in the car. We're just gonna leave the car here and we're gonna go get the trailer and we're gonna be right back. So we're in the truck with my dad. He's got the tow rig. We're gonna pick up the trailer right now. Glad you guys put enough. Whose smart ass idea was that? Me. You want to hear it or what? I want to hear it. belt issue down there. I don't know if you can see it. You can hear it though. It's making noise because the alternator is not on. That's every the water pump is not spinning. Nothing. I can see spinning. it right here. Where's the belt? Good job, Chris. Can you see right here. Look right here. You'll see a strip of the belt. The belt ripped. It's wrapped around the back of the water pump or whatever's right there. See it? I wonder if that's covered under warranty. That might not be see covered. That? Right here. I can't see it. Look what's in my hand. Okay. I'm probably it's okay. It just says that there's no cool and all the lights went off because there's nothing nothing's turning anymore.
today's the first time we're towing with our 2022 Chevy Silverado and it has the three liter Duramax in it. Away we go. Okay, so quick little story on the Bronco. We have had an issue with this car before. The water pump was leaking. So we did take it under, we took it into service under warranty and they fixed it. So now we know that the, thir the serpentine belt is broken. So maybe something has to do with the water pump. Maybe there's a bolt backing out. Maybe it's not completely aligned perfectly and it's kind of chewing up the, the belt over the, I don't know, how many miles did we get it done? I don't know, it's been a, it's been a little while, but was that six months ago? How long did we get the water pump fixed? Yeah, maybe we put like 15 or 10,000 miles on it since we got the water pump fixed. So maybe something's chewing it up very slowly over that time to make it break. Because the serpentine belt, that should be like one of the last things that breaks. Yeah, those things usually last forever. I've had serpentine belts, shit, 100, 200, 150,000 miles last. They're hard to break. It's like a steel, almost like a steel belt. It's all woven in steel. It's They're really strong. So we're just kind of brainstorming on what possibly could cause the issue. But we called our local Ford dealership and we told them that how many miles are on the car. It is still in the warranty. We do have an extended warranty and we're going to take it back to the dealership and see what they say. Hopefully they fix it on a warranty and we don't have to come out of pocket any money. But um, now, luckily they, they know who we are. So that's a good thing. They know who we are. They're, I talked to the um, service writer and he's like, oh yeah, I know you. Rudy. My, he used to be my neighbor. The service writer used to be my neighbor. So that's a good, that's a plus. So I told him I'd be there in like 15 minutes. All right, so... We'll catch up later. All right, so my dad just drove up with the car. I want to quickly show you guys how many miles it has. 43,510 miles on it. And basically what my dad is telling me, they didn't really have an answer for us on why it threw the belt. But they put a new one on it. They said they couldn't find anything wrong with it other than that the belt broke. Which is, in my opinion, I guess that's not, that's good news and bad news. I would rather have them had found an issue and fix an issue other than just put the belt on. Cause now I'm gonna be leery that it's gonna break again, basically. All right, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.